In stock and stock mutual fund investment, growth and value are two fundamental methods or styles. Value investors look for equities that appear to be inexpensive in the market, while growth investors look for companies with high earnings growth. When employed together, the two types complement each other and can help diversify your portfolio. Growth stocks are companies that have seen higher than average earnings growth in recent years and are projected to continue to do so in the future, though no assurances can be made. Emerging growth firms are those that have the potential for substantial earnings growth but do not yet have a track record of doing so. The following are the key characteristics of growth funds. Higher price than broader market. Investors are willing to pay high price to earnings multiples in the hope of selling the company at even greater prices as they grow. High earnings growth records. While some companies' earnings may be affected during periods of slower economic expansion, growth corporations may be able to maintain high earnings growth regardless of the economy. More volatile than broader market. When buying a growth stock, the danger is that its high price will plummet if the company receives bad news, especially if profits miss. Value investors seek out companies that have lost favor but yet have strong fundamentals. Stocks of new companies that have yet to be identified by investors may be included in the value category. The following are some of the key characteristics of value funds. Lower price than broader market. The premise behind value investing is that if and when the genuine value of a company is recognized by other investors, the stock will rise in price, priced below similar companies in industry. Many value investors feel that the bulk of value stocks are produced as a result of investors overreacting to recent company troubles, such as poor profits, negative publicity, or legal issues, all of which can cast doubt on a firm's long-term projects. Carry somewhat less risk than broader market. Value stocks, on the other hand, may be better suited to long-term investors because they take longer to turn around and entail a higher risk of price volatility than growth stocks. You might be asking, is it more best to focus on growth or value, or both? Which strategy, growth or value, is more likely to provide larger long-term returns? For years, the debate between growth and value investment has raged, with each side citing statistics to back up their claims. On a value-adjusted basis, several studies demonstrate that value investing outperforms growth over long periods of time. Short-term thinking, according to value investors, can often push stock prices to low levels, resulting in wonderful purchasing opportunities for value investors. According to history, growth stocks on average have the ability to outperform when interest rates are decreasing and business earnings are rising. They may, however, be the first to be punished if the economy slows. Value stocks, particularly those in silical industries, may do well early in a recovery, but they are more likely to underperform in a long-term bull market. When it comes to long-term investment, some people mix growth and value stocks for a higher return with less risk. This strategy allows investors to profit in theory during economic cycles in which market conditions favor either growth or value investing, smoothing any returns over time. As always, if you like this kind of video, subscribe to our channel and can you hit the like button for us? It will help us with the YouTube algorithm. And so, it will greatly help us to grow this channel and post more investing videos for you in the future. And also, say hi to the comment section so we know you're alive. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Take care.